Hello everybody, and welcome back to the Toys Review Kingdom. The place where all toys prosper, they will and shall forever. <laughs> okay, alright. Alright, and so in today's episode, we will be reviewing something pretty unique and magical. However though, it is an item from uh, one of our favorite toys company on this channel. Which is none other than Fortnite. Surprise, surprise, surprise. Okay, so without further ado, allow me to introduce you the one and only. Tan -ta -da -dun! Ladies and gentlemen, what is in front of you is the Fortnite Solo Mode Core Figure Pack Battle Hound. Okay, okay, so as you, can, as you can see here, the Battle Hound comes in this beautiful packaging, or package, right? Quick little story behind this. Actually, I thought this was a gladiator, you know, without, because when I first saw it, I thought, you know, it was just a, a regular gladiator toy, but then once I looked up, I saw that, oh, it was a Fortnite, actually a Fortnite character, which is called Battle Hound. I didn't know and so I just went ahead and grabbed it on my last trip to the grocery store and I figured it out you know what you guys might love this one just like you guys love the other videos so why not just share it with you guys and also keep it you know and also have a bunch of fun with it and so I did and that is how it ended up on this channel right okay so this is what the battle hound looks like from the front like so Pretty cool and pretty nice. There goes the view from the right hand side. Yep. There goes the view from the left hand side. Yes. There goes the view from the back. Mm -hmm. And then this is the view from the bottom. And then there goes the view from the T.O.P. to top it all off, okay? Alright, so by taking a quick look at the front, we can see that uh, this is the solo mode edition of the Battle Hound, not the Funko Pop. And then this toy is recommended for people ages 8 and up. However, I think that this toy sh is suitable for people ages 3 and up, you know, especially if you're a Fortnite fan. Because as we all know, all Fortnite, all Fortnite fans are responsible and they take really great care of their toys. <laughs> and then apparently what is included is some kind of a stand, um, the Battle Hound and his Harvest Tool. Okay. And from the back, we can see that this is part of the series, so, excuse me, of all other toys. That include, but it's not limited to, the Skull Trooper, the Dark Bomber, the Havoc, the Toxic Trooper, and Calamity. So pretty cool and pretty nice. Thanks to Jazzwares. Okay. Alright. So you guys already know the drill. While opening it, let me tell you a little bit about it, about it, about it, whoop, about it about it about it about it about it about it Woo about it about it about it Woo okay 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 I've got my scissors here and I'm ready to go People of Earth, what we have here today is an official licensed product. The Battle Hound is a 4 inch action figure that has a lot of articulations, approximately 25 points. Sheesh! It is highly detailed and decorated. Its awesomeness is inspired by one of the most popular outfits from the incredible game named Fortnite. The Battle Hound comes equipped 
with the Silver Fang Harvesting Tool, which I think is this one, the Silver Fang Harvesting Tool. And it's also, and it's always ready for action. Just like any other Jawsware toys, this one is also compatible with metal and stone building materials. However, those additions are sold separately and are subject to, avail to availability. All collectors and lovers of Fortnite should stay tuned as more outfits are dropping pretty soon. So I definitely I definitely need to keep an eye on on these specifically knowing that more outfits will be dropping pretty soon. Okay. Alright, so now Let's get started on this and let's have some fun with it. But first we have to get him out of the box. Which is something pretty pretty interesting. Might take a while. So you guys need to stay you guys need to bear with me. Alright, so this is what was uh, at the back of it, which is some kind of a board or some kind of, I don't know what you want to call this, but you know, it was part of it. So that's pretty cool and pretty nice. You can see that in the video game, he's rocking a pair of incredible boots. I think the, I think those are like winter boots or something. container looks like once it's been emptied okay and so as expected we have this little thing which is something that allows uh, all collectors to know uh, most of the outfits or some of the toys that they would like to collect or that they are collecting at the moment you can choose to collect the bandolier, carbide, havoc, the raptor, technique the visitor rex or more so that's pretty nice or you can choose to look for accessories you have like your common accessories such as the such as the assault rifle your epic ones such as the dual pistols the legendary such as the heavy shotgun uh, the rare such as the drum gun the uncommon such as the let's see here hunting rifle and of course for harvesting tool you can choose to get the autoclave, the Excalibur, the Chump Jr. or the Pick Squeak. For Bat Bling you have the option to get the Cuddle Bow, the Rust Bucket or the Uplink. uplink. And for gliders you can get the Wet Pant or the Beach Umbrella. Pretty cool and pretty nice. We love it. All right, guys, trying to get the main of the hour out of the extra layer of protection. You guys let me know do you think the uh the battle hound is some kind of a spartan or something so then we definitely have the fit for it right. so this is what the extra layer of protection set looks like i guess i could just leave it there if it wants to stay but i guess it won't stay so well let's just take it out Alright, so this is what a little stand looks like. I like it a lot, especially the wooden uh, design that they add to it to make it look more realistic. Right? 
Here's the quick view from the back, so that's pretty cool and pretty nice, alright? And this is the harvesting tool, right? So this is what the, har the harvesting tool looks like. Pretty cool and pretty nice, I like the silver shine that it has to it or whatever. Or the steel texture, especially these, and the, 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 what is it called, pink rose accent at the top. So that's pretty cool and pretty nice. And what we've all been waiting for, the man of the hour, the one and only Battle Hound. Yes, sir. So this is what our little friend, the Battle Hound, looks like. Pretty cool and pretty nice. Here's a quick view from that angle. Mm -hmm. Quick little view from this angle, like so. Dope. Quick little view from that one. Yep. Quick little view from the T O P. Quick little view from the B O T T O M. So that's pretty nice and pretty cool. Okay. And so we said that this toy had a couple of articulations. So we might you might as well just go ahead and test them. Let's see here. Ooh. So the head can do a well the the mask, right? Or whatever this is called, can do a 360 degrees rotations. That's pretty cool. Oh, it's actually detachable, so that's pretty cool. And then, as you can see here, there's a layer of plastic to protect his head. So that's pretty, that's thoughtful and pretty interesting. And the head can just, you know, uh, turn from left to right, not rotate. So that's pretty good and pretty nice. As you can see here, his head. I'll right, just go ahead and put the mask back on it. To make it more interesting all right and so the hand can also go 360 so that's pretty 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 nice I like this little I think this is a scarf or something this little thing and I can go ahead and turn this so that's pretty nice too 360 that's cool let's see about the hand yeah the hand can rotate also 360 so that's pretty cool and pretty nice as well as the upper arm the lower arm I should say 360 so that's pretty cool and what about this side yes this side can also rotate so that's pretty cool too the legs the legs can move but not fully rotate the knee has a little bit of motion to it, so that's cool. All right, and then the torso can also rotate 360, so that's nice and interesting. You guys can see here, and the hair goes, I guess, part of his attire, or whatever this is called. I don't know what this is called, like the little skirt thing or whatever. That's pretty dope too. I like it a lot. Okay. But yeah, man, overall, this is a great toy. As you can see, they're pretty great. Okay, 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 okay. So, guys, for me, this toy has earned a rating of 5 out of 5. Like, a deserve, a well deserved 5 out of 5. Great, great, great craftsmanship. And excellent articulation as you can see here just admire the craftsmanship and also the details I mean this is this is like an S type of toy an S is like beyond a plus type of toy like it's really well done like kudos to uh, Jazzwares for this one It is sure to spark some creativity. Of course, this toy is definitely sure to spark some creativity. Like by just looking at it, you can already tell. Made out of good materials. It's made out of somewhat good materials, but it isn't. It isn't the best of the best. It is reusable, definitely. You can have fun with it today, tomorrow, in a year or two. But as long as you take good care of it. It is nice and somewhat sturdy. However, you should avoid dropping it or 
twisting you know the art or playing with the articulations a little too much because you might just end up breaking it and avoid dropping it and avoid dragging it on the floor in order to limit the amount of scratches and scuffs so be very careful when you play with these type of toys okay so that ladies and gentlemen marks the end of today's video as always if you haven't already make sure to smash that like button mm -hmm. leave a comment to let us know what you think what you would like to see on this channel and where we can improve mm -hmm. share this video with a friend or a family member in order to uh, spread the word and raise awareness because as you guys already know on this channel we are the best of the best and we always drop bangers so bangers on bangers on bangers on bangers yes but most importantly though make sure to destroy that subscribe button and hit the bell icon to stay tuned for more guys we need more subscribers so please 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 make sure to destroy that subscribe button and hit the bell icon for more subscribe and also you know what from time to time Come back and check and check on the channel, you know, like every Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. You know, just stop by and check to see, you know, what we got going on here. All right. Have a great day, and see you next time. Bye.